Every spin and go player's dream hitting the jackpot spin. 10 euros to a million euros. That's the reality for these three players. Let's see if they'll be able to be aggressive or if they're going to be very, very passive and scared to play for the prize. Maxu's got eight to off on the button. We'd expect to see a fold from him. He actually raises and not only a min raise, a 3.5x raise. Very unorthodox here. Definitely looking to apply pressure. Destraight finds a call. Again, a call I wouldn't really want to be making here. But it looks like they're here to gamble. This 1 million not getting to them at all. I'd expect King 2 to fold. And this is the first play I'd expect to see actually happening. So we're going to take a flop. 8 high versus 7 high. Nothing changes on the flop. Whoever's going to be the most aggressive here is likely to win the pot. Let's see if Maxu can fire out some aggression here with his 8-2. Destraight firstly checks and doesn't donk with his 7-6. And Maxu decides he's going to check. He's not liking this flop, I guess, with his 8 high and giving up. We can see a small bet would probably have worked. Turn comes a jack, so it doesn't change anything for either player. And we get a check, and it goes check, check again. Onto the river. It's now a full house on board, so now both players chop. Will anyone try and steal this pot? Destraight checks, and let's see if Maxu can find some aggression. He checks, they're going to split this pot. We've learned that very, very, very wild pre-flop going on here, but very, very cautious post-flop play. So quite a strange first hand, definitely not optimal. Let's see what's dealt next. We have a nice hand for Max Sue in the big blind. 10-4 on the button, just folding, this makes sense. Will AP manage to play his 7-6 offsuit? He does. He's min-raised it, and Maxu, I presume, is going to call or maybe raise here. Let's see. He was aggressive with the 8-2, so maybe he raises. He does. He finds a free bet on all in. I think this is going to work. His aggression is going to pay off here, unless AP gets really out of line with 7-6 here. He does find a fold, so Maxu's aggression, picking up a nice 40 chips there, putting him into the lead. Let's see what's dealt next. We've got Queen-7 off on the button. This should be a fold. Let's see. He does make the correct fold. We saw Maxu open 8 to off on the button. Is he going to open 7 to off when he's just got to get through one player now? The answer is no. So he's not really applying any kind of logical strategy here. He's just playing off feeling is what I would say. Probably, well, most definitely just somebody playing for fun and happened to have hit this massive jackpot. So nice for him. Jack to off on the button. It should be a fold, but we've seen he plays anything he wants. Will he play this jack two? Nope, he decides he just wanted to mess around with eight two and he's played reasonable after that. Ace three suited, and I imagine this one wants to play. He goes for a 2.5x raise. This is okay. I'd prefer to just go all in. I think we'd get some overfolds for sure. Queen seven's got a quite a tough decision now. Pretty much very low down in what we'd consider to maybe want to call. I think I would even just let this go in a million game and defend it in a normal game. AP does manage to find the call though. He's going to take a flop and he gets an absolute dream flop, right? He's hit his top pair. Destraight's going to be first to act here with his ace free. I wouldn't be surprised if he fires out a bet just trying to take the pot down with his free. He does. It's a reasonably small bet. I actually quite like this bet. Just if he can fold any hand that completely missed, say AP had a hand like Jack-7 of diamonds, right? He'd get this to fold. Unfortunately for Distraight though, AP has not got Jack-7 of diamonds. He's got top pair queen. I imagine he's going nowhere, but will he call or will he raise? What would you do in this situation? He goes all in, and this puts Distraight in a world of pain. He needs to call 155 chips here to continue. So he gets very nice pot odds. He could be ahead of like a jack nine or a flush draw. Will he make the call? He doesn't. He lets it go. So this worked out really nicely for AP. Denying Destraight off all of his equity there. Could have redrawn with an ace or a three. So he'd have some decent equity. And a nice scoop for AP, who now almost goes to the chip lead. We see the next hand here. It is 7-5. For AP, Destraight's got the 6-4 offsuit on the button. I imagine this is going in the bin. Not a very good hand. It does go in the bin. Good, correct play. 7-5 could go all in here in theory. Will he manage to find it? He doesn't. He just finds a limp. He's trying to see a flop. He's dreaming of flopping a flush or a straight. Maxu does give him the chance. 
Unfortunately, though, he doesn't flop anything, just seven high. Let's see if he tries to steal this pot. If he does, it's likely going to work. He does fire out the bet. I like this on such a structure. We can expect a lot of folds. The big blind's going to have a lot of complete trash. We can see he has 8-3 here. He's going to have all these complete trash hands that check back and just completely miss. So unless he flopped a pair or one of the few potential draws, likely to get a decent amount of folds here. 20 into 40 on leading to work one in three times. So a nice play from AP here, taking the aggressive line. We've got some potential for fireworks here. I imagine queen five is going to get out of the way. It does, but now we've got an ace versus a pocket pair. Not very deep stacks. I don't see how Maxu doesn't end up all in here. Let's see. He goes for the 3x raise. Okay, I presume this rate's got to go all in. Dream scenario to be dealt pocket jacks here at only about seven or eight big blinds deep. He does go all in. I think this is by far the best play. I presume Maxu's not going to get away from his ace four here, given he only needs to invest one, four, five more chips into a pot of going to be like 470-ish. He does make the call, and he's drawing to 32.66%. He really wants to see an ace on the flop. If he doesn't get an ace, he wants to at least see a few hearts out there, or say a two and a three to give him a gut shot. Let's see. The straight prey in the jack's hold. We get the flop, and there's no ace, but there is a four, giving Maxu a pair. There's also one heart out there, so there is a potential to backdoor into a flush, as well as a wheel draw to backdoor into. So many turns could give Maxu a lot of equity here. He's really hoping to see a low red turn or an ace. Let's see if he can find one. He doesn't. The black 10, one of the worst turns in the deck for Maxu. The only worst turn would be a jack. Not one he wants to see, not giving him any more redraws. Drawing only to a four or an ace now. Just straight happy with that turn card. Really got the sweat on hoping to hold here. And the blank queen does indeed give to straight the double up. And Maxu very, very, very low on chips now. Not a nice setup for him there. I don't think he can get away from an ace blind versus blind there. So I think he played it fine. The 3x call, not standard, not something I'd go for. But getting it all in, I think, is the standard play. Okay, moving on. Let's see what's dealt. Can Maxu make a comeback? He gets 10-6 suited on the button. Not exactly the hand he would like to see. He should, should just fold and wait to see what he gets in the big blind. I wouldn't be surprised if he puts it all in there, maybe steaming a bit after losing that ace-x hand. He does put it all in. To straight should find a fold here. He does. And king-queen, easy, easy call, hoping to chip up a little bit here. Will Maxu manage to flop a flush? He won't, but he does flop a pair. Unfortunately for him, though, AP flops the king pair. So, backdoor flush draws a potential here, or just for 10 over 6. Will the turn bring in that backdoor flush draw? It won't, but it will give Maxu two pair. A fantastic turn, and maybe, just maybe, his hopes of winning the million euro spin are still alive. Going to the river, king, queen can't outdraw the two pair from the turn, and Maxu is going to double up, and his hopes are still alive. Not a good time for your king, queen to not hold there for AP. Next hands, it looks like not many players have got a piece of anything here. I'd imagine the 6-4 should fold. Definitely theory-wise, it should. It does, and King-4 should definitely go all in here. The maths just checks out when you're only like 6 and a bit big blinds effective deep. And he does find the all-in, so credit to AP. Not letting the money get to him and finding a very nice all-in here. And good timing, it's going to work, and he's going to chip up a little bit. What do we have now? I imagine Queen 8 is going to fold. It's not quite good enough to play on the button. We're about 10 big blinds deep here. We would not be looking to play a hand like Queen 8. A hand like Queen 10 we could go all in with, but not Queen 8. Let's see if AP recognizes this. He does. He makes a good, correct fold. Maxu shouldn't really be doing anything with his 4-2 here. And he is disciplined this time and lets it go. A nice walk for the straight, picking up 15 extra chips and his big blind there. Oh, it looks like we've got a scenario brewing here. Max, who's surely going to go all in with his pocket nines. He does. Correct play. Ace 10 suited. I see no other option apart from ripping it. Going to be ahead of a lot of the things Max, who jams. And to straight makes the correct rip. Good play. And this is going to be an easy fold for King 7. And AP correctly recognizes that. And we've got a flip. Flipping for so much money. 
emotions are going to be all over the place. And this is the disaster scenario for Maxu. Your heart sinks when you see your 52% go to 9% on the flop here. I imagine he's not too happy. Will he get there with some kind of hope on the turn? Really bad turn. He needs a 9 and a 9 only. If ever there was a time to hit a 2 out of this would be it. Unfortunately for Maxu, he doesn't find it and he's eliminated. He's not going home empty-handed though. He's turned his 10 euros into a massive score of, I believe, close to 100,000 euros. So I'm sure he's happy, but a bit sad at the same time. How would you guys feel if you came third in such a million jackpot spin? Would you be really happy you hit it? and grateful for the close to 100,000? Or would you feel angry, especially if you lost a flip like this? Either way, Distrait having a nice chip lead going into the heads up now. Will he be able to convert it, or will AP be able to fight back? Has about a 2.5 to 1 chip lead. 9-8 suited will want to go all in here in theory. Let's see if AP can find this aggressive action. He does. Well done. Good play, and 8-3 is going to have to fold, and this is going to make it down to a 2-1 to one chip lead advantage now. Queen 2 versus 10 2, not great hands for either. However, how deep are we here? 300 chips, we're about 8 big blinds deep. Queen 2 could go for a limp. It could even consider to go for an exploitative push, assuming players might be overfolding to all in here. We'll see what the straight does. He folds. This is the option I'd really want to avoid here. We definitely want to play the hand, at least try and limp stab it. I don't expect AP to be going super wide with ISOs as a bluff in a 1 million euro game. So the walk for 10-2, the dream scenario. Oh, we've got a setup now. Nines versus ace three suited. Nines can either limp to trap. This would be the standard play. Let's see what AP does. He does find the limp trap. Very nice play by AP. The standard play for the straight would be to go all in here. Let's see if he finds it. He doesn't. It checks. Uh, maybe he's going to get away from this cooler scenario. Maybe he can even outdraw the nines. We have a jack high flop. Absolutely no help at all for the straight. Backdoor wheel draw. That's pretty much it. Not a bad flop for nines. Only one over card out there. Nines can go either way on the flop. Bet or check. Assuming the straight does not dunk bet. That's correct, he doesn't donk bet, and AP has the decision to make. He decides to bet, I like it. There's plenty of hands we can get value from here. We can even fold some hands like King-7, for example, which could occasionally outdraw us with the King. As you see, he folds the Ace-3 here, which has the redraw to the Ace right to outdraw a 9. So we are folding the villain off some equity here. Nice hand by AP, played it perfectly, I would play it the same. Let's see what's dealt next. Ace-9 versus 8-5. Let's see if the straight finds the V-pip with the 8-5. He does. This is very strange. He's even found a 2.5x raise here. He's decided now's the chance for him to take a stand, fire some aggression. And let's see if AP respects this. Ace-9 should be going all in here. But let's see if he's now scared of this 2.5x. He's not. He shipped it right in his face. The straight's going to get max punished here for finding a large raise with a hand that never really wants to here. And he does indeed have to fold. And this has now put AP in the lead. Distraits chip lead has disappeared. Is his chance to win disappearing as well? 4-5 off. Best play would be to limp here. Try and see a flop with a limp stab. Let's see. AP does go for the limp. AP playing pretty well so far. I Potentially a 10 euro regular here. He goes for the limp. King six in theory would want to go all in, but I can imagine it might be hard for players to find it. He does find it. There's a big credit to the straight here, finding this aggressive ISO all in. Definitely a good theory play, and I think a play that's going to work reasonably well in this game too. Four five is going to have to fold, and we're going to see what the next hand is. Nine four versus five two. Blinds have gone up as well. Complete trash. Let's see if anyone manages to steal this pot or if the 5-2 gets a walk. The 5-2 does get a walk. An absolute dream scenario for AP. You're not happy when you dealt crap in this scenario, but you're very happy when your villain just folds to you. Again, not the best hands here, but 8-4 suited. Could go for an all-in. It would be supported by Nash Equilibrium. 
He manages to just find the limp there. Let's see if 97 will check back. It does, and let's see what the flop brings. Okay, we've got quite a lot going on here. We've got Distraight with the pair plus gut shot, and we've got AP with just the bottom pair with no herp. Let's see if Distraight checks. He does, and AP should check here. I wouldn't want to be putting more chips into the pot with my eight. Quite easy for the big blind to have some piece of this board, either with a pair, an open-ended straight draw via a 10, or a gut shot via something like a queen X, a seven X, etc. right? Let's see if AP agrees. He fires out a bet, and I don't like this play at all. I think we definitely want to check. I don't think we're going to get enough folds here. And anything we do fold is just going to be hands with no herps, right? What kind of hands are going to fold definitely on this board? It'll be hands like 4-3 offsuit, right? With just two unders to our pair and no draw. And everything that calls is either going to have us beat or have very high equity. Even a hand like queen 3 here has a gut shot and an overcard, for example, right? I imagine 9-7 is going to call and take a turn having a pair plus gutter. He does. And let's see what the turn brings. The turn's an ace. So maybe this is a card. AP goes check, check on. Maybe he tries to turn his eight into a bluff. But let's firstly check if Distraight does check it over to AP. Wow, he doesn't. He finds a donk bet all in. This is crazy. This is definitely not a standard play. He should never really have this ace. So leading all in doesn't make any sense theoretically. It should work here. I mean, 8-4 has surely got to fold. Let's see. No way. He doesn't. He calls with the 8-4. There's 1 million euro spin and he's called a fourth pair no draw on a board where Distraight could have Queen-10. He could have 10-7. He could have Jack-8-2 pair, right? Like, I don't believe it. Distraight probably saw the call and his heart dropped. He was like, oh no, I, I've donk jammed and he's hit the ace, he's hit the ace. And then AP flips over 8-4 and the straight is probably in shock. He'll definitely be in shock if the river's an 8 or 4. Let's just check it isn't. Okay, it isn't. And the straight gets the win with the 9-7. Relieved he didn't get cooled there. And AP's just absolutely blown up in the million euro spin. Decided that now is his chance to make a stand with a terrible call, to put it nicely. But he's definitely going to have paid for it, right? I can't believe he's made that call. I just can't believe it. Could Distraight have found the best donk bet all in of all time? And that's it. We've got our winner.